Hello, everyone. Lance and Kel from Refocus on Happiness. Listen, you really don't have to suffer. You'd be amazed how much better you can feel in even in the first 48 hours. So in the next 30 seconds, I'm going to show you that one thing you can do right now to get yourself feeling back today. First things first, very important for you to know, the decision to stay, to be in a relationship, it's not logical. It's emotional. Think about the classic phrase, there's something about them. Well, if you want to get them back, there's got to be something about you. So this video is for people who are going through a breakup or experiencing relationship challenges. The secret to getting them back is you first have to get you back. So before you can strengthen your relationship with someone else, you first have to strengthen the relationship with yourself. Doesn't that make sense? And you have to stop, you have to stop sabotaging it. But how are you going to do that if you can't control your emotions? Think about it. Isn't it true? When you feel like crap, that's exactly when you say things you shouldn't be saying. And that's exactly when you do things you shouldn't be doing. Do you find yourself in situations where your emotions get the better of you? Are you having problems enforcing your boundaries? Well, if that's you, you really need to keep watching because I'm going to show you how to break that, that pattern at, at, at the core and then do it again within days, not months, not weeks, not years, days, because it does not matter what you know conceptually. It only matters what you can do. And if you can't control your emotional states, you, you effectively know zero. The problem is everyone's teaching how to get them back the wrong way. They're, 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 all the conventional wisdoms out there are making it about getting them back when it should be first about making getting you back. Think about when no one's going to fight for a relationship that isn't worth fighting for. I mean, if you're not enjoyable to be around, well, contrary to popular belief, sometimes the grass is greener on the other side. And that's why I want to show you how to do this right the very first time, and then how to do that within days. So if you're interested in getting them back, by first getting you back, you're going to want to watch this video. So the first step, as promised, you need to have a clear and straightforward game plan. And that game plan is actually pretty simple and straightforward. First step is to know the two most viable resources for everything you want in your life. And I really do mean everything. Love, health, and wealth across the board, including resurrecting your relationship is to be able to control your emotional states. It all starts with you, not them, you. Doesn't that make sense? So if you want to learn how to do that, really get control of your emotional states and energy, you need to, we, need to, we need to speak, you and I. First step is to break that uh, book, a breakthrough session. And to do that, please go to refocusonhappiness.com. R-E-F-O-C-U-S-O-N, happiness.com. On there, you'll see a button, clearly said, contact Lance. And uh, yeah, feel free to go there, book a call. Uh, of course, there will be an application form. Please take that very seriously because that brings me up to speed in your situation. Uh, otherwise, feel free to get to know me and what I do a little bit better. You can click the watch now button and watch a free webinar. And that will give you the overall bird's eye view of what I do and how I do it. Now, granted, that's not going to teach you how to do it. The clear step-by-step, -step, you do need me working directly uh, alongside with you. But at least for the first time, you will understand very clearly why your way has never worked and quite frankly, never will. So either way, once you do that, you'll have an opportunity to book a call me. And once I receive that form, I'll be in contact with you, with you within 72 hours. And I'll teach you not just how to resurrect your relationship, but how to resurrect your life at the emotional core. Looking forward to speaking to you. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Uh, go to refocusonhappiness.com. What you want to do is you want to click the button at the top contact Lance. Very, very easy form. When you go there, you'll see you put your name, your last name, your email address, and your phone number. And I will get in touch with you in just a few days, okay? Um, just be a little patient. I got a lot of people I work with, but I'll get in touch with you in 72 hours maximum. But uh, but after you do that contact uh, Lance uh, link, uh, feel free to scroll around here. Um, again, Steve Martin has a great phrase. He says, be so good at what you do, people can ignore you. If you scroll down, you'll see testimonials from psychologists, uh, doctors, zillions and zillions and zillions of past clients, including medical directors, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, like I said, I'm making this so obvious for you. What I represent for you, what I believe, the only reason you would not do this is if you're a glutton for punishment. Um, so yeah, feel free to take a good look around. Again, I'm gonna make it very clear what I represent for you if this is something you're serious about, okay? Uh, awesome, look forward to speaking to you soon. What made you decide to do a program like this? Um, relationships uh, was even though I really didn't have one, <laughs> but that was really my purpose because I want one. I, I feel like I have a lot of 
love and stuff to give. And not that I need it. I thought I needed it, but I don't need it anymore. Uh, Cause I know it's all within me. Mm-hmm. And, um, and that was a big part of it was um, just not really believing in yourself, in myself, um, not feeling good enough, uh, whether it's a relationship or whatever, but probably primarily relationship. Cause I'd been in a relationship for 28 years. It wasn't always great. Uh, and that would end it abruptly. And so um, getting back out there was, is really tough. <laughs> so, um, and I just didn't feel confident in myself. I've never felt that confident in myself actually. So it was really all about the feeling I felt about myself. Um, and the catalyst really to get me to this program was someone I met online who was so positive, a really always positive, always built me up. He didn't know who I was. I mean, not really. Um, and I just thought, who's this guy and why is he so positive? And, you know, that's kind of what I wanted. And I thought, you know, if he sees this in me and he doesn't even know who I am really, Mm -hmm. why can't I see it in myself? And so that just got me thinking and I, and uh, I somehow found you. I don't even know how I found you <laughs> on Facebook, yeah. but I somehow found you. Pinky Facebook ads. Yeah, and I, and I just thought, he sounds legit. I mean, you sounded genuine. And so, and I wanted someone genuine. I didn't just want a program. I had started reading a few little things just because I thought, you know, what am I missing? <laughs> here uh so i started reading stuff about relationships and about men and um and some of it was helpful that it at least spiked my interest and maybe that's how i found you i don't know but i thought well this guy seems really legit and seems to care so here i am (laughs) good good see so now you see now and this is for the benefit of you as well as anyone listening here so now you know the truth you know a lot of people it's 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 interesting. I speak to all these people that come on the call and they, and they, it's almost like they try and diagnose themselves. It's almost like they're trying to get affirmation. They're on the right track. Like, yeah, I I know I need to work on my mindset. Yeah. I know I need to work on uh, my limiting beliefs. These are the classic phrases people say, I need to work on my limiting beliefs. I need to work on my mindset. Uh, I need to, I need to work on my, my, my loving myself. They say all these generic terms, but what they're really missing is the real essence of what that really means. Mm -hmm. If you are able to feel amazing, you're able to feel confident. You're able to feel great. You're able to feel love for yourself. Well, you don't need a mindset anymore. The, the feeling right. is what people are looking for. And that's a feeling. That's not a thought. It's a feeling. Right. And to feel a certain way, that's conditioning. Mm-hmm. So that's really the simplest course. People, people make it so much harder like, to understand that it really is. It's not a limited belief system. It's not a limited, um, you know, uh, um, yeah, limited beliefs. It's not, it's not a lack of a mindset. It's they're not conditioned to feel what they want. They're, they're not able to feel great, feel love, feel confidence. It's a feeling. But now you know that is actually in the most basic, easy to understand sense. It's a conditioning. That's a skill. Right. It's not a concept. It's not a limited belief. It's a, when you feel a certain way, it's easy to act a certain way. When you feel a certain way, you can now act a certain way. When you feel a certain way, you don't do things you used to do in the past. When you feel a certain way, you're less likely to feel a void and, and feel like there's something incomplete out there. It's all a feeling. That's the right. simplest component. That's what you learn in a very practical way. So now you've, you, you kind of got past all the weeds and you recognize it's actually maybe not easy to implement. That's why I did the program, but it's easy to understand. It's a feeling what people are looking for. And I give people analogies sometimes. I'm like, listen, I go, let me make this really simple for you here. If you, because you can almost look at like a relationship some, in some ways as a, as a type of partnership, right? If you were in a, um, uh, if you had a, a job 10 years ago and that person fired you unfairly, you'd probably not like that person very much, right? Right. But imagine 10 years later, they call you up. Hey, Melanie, I got a great job for you. And it's, it's high six figures. And let's just say you need that money. Even though you despise that person, guess who's probably going to take the job? Right. That's because you have lack of feeling abundant. That's because, oh my God, if I don't take this job, I'm going to be in problems. That's ultimately what causes people to take these crappy jobs. Make sense? Yes. But imagine right before that person called, you won $100 million in the lottery. 
Now you feel rich, right? Now, granted, you have, a, you, have a, you have that practical reason, but I want you to focus on the feeling. You now feel rich. You feel abundant. You feel like all your needs are taken care of. And then the person calls you up. You might not even be spiteful anymore. You might be like, I'm just so blessed and lucky. Hey, it was nice hearing from you. I wish you all the best, but no, I'm not interested. You might actually feel gra such gratitude. You might not even dislike that person anymore. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you feel such abundance. There's no way you're going to take that job. What you now have in a practical sense is to feel like that in your relationships. Like I already feel like you already have it all. And when you feel like that, you show up differently. People yeah. respond differently to you, but that's a feeling. And that, right. that feeling, it's not a concept, it's a conditioning. That's what you did over the time. And again, doesn't mean you're a robot, doesn't mean you're not a human being, it just means you have control, you have consistency. Maybe a challenging day, but not challenging fucking weeks or months. A right. challenging day is not such a bad day, but that's what you got. At the end of the day, you have a very simple an applicable way, uh, applicable, uh, um, simple understanding and very clear, straightforward way to apply it. That's what you got. And that's why most people fail because they're going about the wrong way. They think there's some line they need to read. Oh, I need to somehow learn a new limit of new beliefs so I can destroy my life. That's not what you need. You need a way to condition your brain so you can feel amazing. When you feel amazing, you do amazing. When you feel amazing, you speak differently to people. That's right. all it really is. So you learn in a very simple way to really nix all that stuff. So now I'm good either way. If I'm in a relationship, fantastic. If I'm not, that's okay too. But here's the irony. You will meet someone very beautiful, wonderful very soon because you're showing up differently. You know, I've said this before. When you feel radiantly beautiful, you are radiantly beautiful. People want to spend time with you. People want to get to know you. You're, you became that person, that person who inspired you that you were talking about that you met online. You know, you're becoming that person. You're becoming that person that attracted you. You have this way of being, right? But that's, that's a feeling. When you're able to feel that way, you show up that way. A lot of people talk about um, uh, attracting abundance or attracting relationships. The real truth is you generate it. You literally create your own force of energy so you can radiate that. But when you radiate that, people must respond differently to you. You become the kind of person people want to be around. So is it really a coincidence that all of a sudden now your social calendar starts to fill up? <laughs> that, and that's why that's everyone, their whole life shifts when they do the program because it's addressing that stuff from the core. At the end of the day, it's feeling abundant, feeling loved, feeling like you're already complete, feeling like you're already in bonus territory. When you feel that way, everything shifts. Yeah. And, that's, and that's a practical understanding. That's very that's true. That's what you have now. Your life will never be the same. The only, the only, uh, um, uh, not disclaimer, but caveat is you worked hard with me during our time together. You have to continue to do the process. It's not self-sustaining. You know, it's funny. I tell people when they start this program, I'm like, this ain't no magic trick. This is hard fucking work. You're going to work hard. I mean, you try to tell me, if you look at any disciplines in the athletic realm, right, just as an analogy, try to show me one Olympian gymnast or one Olympian weightlifter who doesn't fucking clock in their time in the gym. This is not different. But if you're willing to do that and you're willing to keep doing it, then the sky's the limit. I'll talk to you in six months from now and you'll blow your own mind as far as where you're at. You'll just reach new levels of understanding and new ways, new deeper levels of feeling and bouncing back and you'll just be like, wow, like, my God, this is incredible. But ultimately, you're continuing to train that emotional muscle in a very practical, touch it, taste it, feel it way. And that's what makes you feel like, I'm just good. Yeah. But that's, that's really everyone, what I, wait, sorry. I say, that's just really what I try to focus on when I do my practice. Yep anything is just really generating that feeling. Cause it's like you said, I've always been grateful. I've always been grateful, yep. but it's a new level of grateful. Yep. Um, it's a, it means more. It's, um, you know, grateful, just grateful for what, like you said, grateful and satisfied for what is. And if you're getting more, that's awesome, but you have what you need. I have everything I need and it's all in me. I don't need a man. I sure like one. I like somebody to share life with, but I'm okay by myself. I'm really pretty darn good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, it's, for me, it's definitely about gratitude and that generating that feeling. And, and that's my never, focus. Never, yeah. Never forget all these incredible moments of gratitude you're having that you're getting deeper and deeper at. Ultimately, ultimately that feeling only came from you. No one pressed the button on you, Melanie. Right. It came from you that you're wiring and continue to condition in. I mean, like, you know, and, and, and like you're saying here, 
as great as you are, you were already actually pretty good at that part when you starred me. Mm -hmm. I, I give you your own credit where credit is due. You work on <laughs> other things, but you were always, you were all, you start off with that great feeling, but that's also partly why you moved as fast as you did yeah. because you were able to really get those emotional juice and say, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just feeling really great what I'm doing and you were able to bring your part of the co-creation into the process. That's what accelerated uh, for you, but you were good at that. But what you're starting to experience is as good as you were, there's other levels of that. There's deeper mm -hmm. levels and it's really incredible. You'll get to a point and you might even already be there. I mean, I know it took me some time before I got to the point where I can any day get so grateful, even over a lousy minutia cup of coffee that I can feel like almost like tears of joy to come down. Like I'm just, I get to live like this, this is incredible. Yeah. But it's over a cup of coffee. I didn't get a new car. <laughs> you know, I didn't get, I didn't, it wasn't like I got a massive injection. Of it's just some simple stuff, but you right. literally condition yourself to do that. And, and it's just like, you can almost invoke it on command, but that's simply because you're doing your process each day. So you just get better and better and better at doing it. And there's no, there's no, uh, there's no final level. It just, it's just like, wow. I mean, there's no, the, the rabbit hole goes very deep. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, so that's it. Yeah. So just, you know, just keep enjoying. So let me ask you here. Um, how do you, how do you now feel about your future? How do you feel about like the next 10 years? Come I on. feel like my best years are definitely ahead of me. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm living my best life right now. And I feel like that's just going to accelerate mm -hmm. uh, as I go on. Um, I'm very happy. I'm going to, you know, I just focus on doing what makes me happy, doing what I want. I, I, I focus a little bit on the slide. You know, your time here is limited. I'm on the downside <laughs> of the spectrum, you know, but um, I just feel like my best life is, totally ahead of me and it's great right now so but i just know it's going to get better <laughs> so it is it is yeah I, and i can't even really imagine how much better honestly but i just know it is i believe it is i know i'm progressing i i will continue to progress forever so as long as i do this and i don't plan yeah. to stop so <laughs> Yeah, ne ne um, ne never, 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 never stop. Yeah, as long as yeah. you're doing it, you'll keep going. And if you ever do have challenges, remember, you can always go back to the baseline from the kickoff. That, that's what you go back to. You go back to like a military operation. If you do that, you can get past anything. Notice you have people, and this good friend, you're listening here, from a biological perspective, it does not matter the source of that challenge. It could be relationship, loss of a loved one, friend challenges, work challenges. From a biological perspective, it's all the same. It is no different. I mean, I got, you know, you saw there are people in the program here that have lost their father, you know, the, like loved ones. There's many of those people and they're surprised how much better they are relatively pretty quickly within a couple of days because it's all the same. Never, ever go into that deer in headlights like, oh my God, I got this challenge. I, I, I'm just going to, you know, sleep in the whole day. Do not do that. Always execute. You're the, you will always continue to be the only variable. As long as you do that, the sky's the limit. Not only you'll blow your own fucking mind where you might be in six months. You'll, you'll yeah. amaze yourself. And that's the truth. Like I said, you'll have deeper levels of understanding and deeper levels of understanding will lead to uh, richer levels of, of, of being. And that's, that's the truth. It will, it will be the gift that keeps giving. Um, and as long as you continue to just not try to be perfect, um, you know, subscribe to a, a student for life mentality where like, hey, I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm totally open to the fact that I either win or I learn. That's not a bad place to be, you know? So right. as long as you keep with that, it's just, it's a, it's a straight shot to the top a top that never, you know, you never really hit the top, but you keep going. <laughs> right, so that's, right. uh, that's a good place to be. Yeah. Um, so let me, let me ask you one last question. I think, this, I think this is great. Uh, last question here. If, if, if you were able to, because this, this is what people relate to, remember, think back to when we first spoke, you know, eight weeks ago, whatever it was at this point. You know, and, and, you know, when you and I first spoke, you know, you're like, you know, you never, you didn't really know quite yet. You know, okay, you thought I sounded a certain way. But, you know, I'm sure there's a part of you that's like, kind of like, I don't know, what's this guy really looking for here, you know? <laughs> but if, but, if, but if, I'm just being honest here. But what if you had the opportunity, the you now was able to talk to the you, uh, you know, eight weeks ago, even before we had the conversation where, where you said, oh, I'm going to be working for the next week. Um, and uh, maybe I'll be able to get to these videos in the next week or so. But if you got to speak to yourself first, before we even spoke, and you were able to say the level of what this represents for you, what do you think you would tell yourself? And I'm only asking this here because this is essentially, I'm almost in some ways asking you, what would you tell anyone else who has this in front of them and has the opportunity to move forward? What would you tell yourself knowing what you know now, your old self? Um, you know, I, I don't, it's just in, kind of incredible. Um, 
five thousand dollars sounds like a lot of money. It is a lot of money to me. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, every day I kind of tell myself five thousand dollars is nothing. It's a drop in the bucket for the rest of your life yes. to feel awesome and to have the tools you need to just be good all the time. Um, and if you like you said, if you have a little challenge, you know what to do. Um, you can't really put a price on it. And $5,000 is cheap for the rest of your life. I mean, mm -hmm. if you really, really work the program and do it and never stop, I'm just like, I'm worth it. And that's the other part of it is like, you know, I'm like, you're worth it. Yeah. Uh, I did, maybe didn't think I was, but I know I am. And there's, it's really, pretty priceless it's peace of mind it's you know it's just feeling uh you know a heart full of gratitude and i mean it's just a, it's just a great way to live i i don't need anybody but myself and it uh and i i know i'm worthy i'm worthy of all the good things that happen to me so um it's it's pretty awesome <laughs> And I would tell somebody, you know, if you can do it, do it. I mean, I know it's a lot of money, but do it. I think it's certainly you're worth it.